showcase meeting tonight. Beach craft. Wow, what a sensational night. For we, we took you under the hammer as, as host. Did you enjoy that? Oh yeah, I loved it. It was sensational. So the energy that um, and the heart that I gave to hosting um, has really given me a chance to step up and also to um, work on uh, sort of energising the audience, which is one of the key things. That You're work. motivating tonight. You're energising, yeah. g up the audience. Giving, motivating, g up. No, it's So yeah. yeah, really great learning opportunity. But also, uh, it's just amazing to see mainly uh, that the uh, the participants of the course have really transformed over the last four weeks. So that was yeah, participants, absolutely spot on. Hey, what do you think of your, you, you evaluated a couple of speakers, three speakers, how'd they go? Oh, they went very well. You can just see the improvement they had over time, and especially right at the end, you can just see when they present in front of everyone, they just, they can feel it. Yeah, you can feel the presence, they got presence, they got confidence in the way they move on the stage, gestures. Mario, first Speechcraft night as a mentor, how do you think it went? Going by the impression of the participants, it was fantastic. They were all so keen, so confident, so pro professional, and at the end of the night, they all just wanted more. So wh whatever happened in the last three weeks was fantastic, but tonight they just really, really had a great time, which for me means that uh, the whole team for the last four weeks did an amazing job. Yeah, chat, point of improvement for, for, for the uh, Speechcraft tonight. Training and projecting the voice. From the mentors? From the uh, visual. From the clients. They were office types, so they were pretty. That, that's really <coughs> their style. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. But we need, we need more exercises early in the speech part to get them to realize that they can open up. And a lot of voice projection is using your mouth. That's a good idea. That's an absolute mouth. good idea, mate. Train them to use their mouth. I love that. Yeah. Okay, how did you go, H? What did you think? Uh, yeah, it was great actually. I actually was keen to check it out. I haven't done Speechcraft before, but I'm actually part of the uh, Smashing Club. But yeah, I, I think it's, got, um, it's, a, it's, it's a lot more professional environment, and I, I can really see that they emphasise kind of, um, you know, putting, putting a, a, a structure to the uh, and, and a format to, to, to the speech. You know, a lot of the times you can come in with this, with this excitement and this energy, and they really allow you to focus it in something that can uh, really just sharpen your craft. So I definitely would recommend that. I'm probably going to sign up to the next uh, round. We'll probably only do it. You can see, you can feel the passion and the energy they're putting into their speeches. They're really, really great passion and energy, which was one of the things we focused on this course. Pauline, what were some of the specific skills that you saw that you enjoyed tonight? Specific skills? Well, passion was definitely number one, uh, because that was some, a, a key focus uh, of this course. Um, uh, I'd say the stage. So the participants initially when they came, they really just stood in the centre, kind of hunch, low energy, really shy. And then what we saw tonight was them taking ownership of the stage, being confident, moving, um, but also moving with purpose. So that was a key highlight for me. Use of stage. What do you like, Dave? What was your highlight tonight, Dave? Uh, well, there's, there's always so many. Um, my highlights. The, well, we had a few props today. I really liked how a few of the guys brought in. So there was a, um, some cups and a few a snoring device. So there's a few different props to really mix it, up. Yep. Yep. Yeah, mix it up. We got Vinod behind the camera there. Yep. What was your highlight tonight? Ah, highlight. There are far too many. I think uh, seeing the growth of how the speakers have grown from uh, you know from week one to week four was really the highlight for me. Some of them are even talking how they improved from last week to this week. The big improvement they saw. They exactly. really stepped up. In yeah. The speech. I liked how each one of them, while they were collecting the certificates, gave really good feedback for how the workshop was designed and conducted, and that is really motivating for me as a mentor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They enjoyed it. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Mario, you got a highlight for us? Yeah, one of those talks, a gentleman named Ed was talking about the importance of environment, going outside your normal environment, meeting new people, which is exactly what this environment's all about. Coming out, meeting these people, meeting us, hanging out with us, we have no clue where we come from. We're all coming from different backgrounds, different experiences. We're all growing together. The environment is so special here. You've got to come down here if you haven't been here before. Yeah, especially everyone. Highlight. 
the, okay. variety, the variety of speeches was really very excellent. They had yeah. a very good variety of speeches. Nobody was speaking about the same thing. They all had very interesting topics. H. Uh, I think it's the fact that um, I, I, I can tell that some of the people have just come in, you know, and they're uh, they're passionate about what they have, you know, they're, they're a subject matter expert in, in whatever they do, uh, whether it be, you know, from law to politics, climate change, anything at all, and I, I can just show that they, they come in, they come in with, a, with that initial passion, that initial drive, and they've been able to sharpen it into something that's really clean cut. And I can, I can tell that uh, Toastmasters have come to do that, so I really, I, I really see that their passion coming to kind of fruition yeah. in the speech. So that's been one of, the, one of our focuses, because you can have all the skills, vocal variation, pauses, but if you haven't got the passion, it really doesn't mean much. And that's what we brought out in our fights, the skills and the passion. I like Pauline. Uh, speaking from the heart, all the participants, uh, and also the, the evaluators were awesome. Yeah. Yeah. For me, my highlight was Dinesh. A member of Smashing the Envelope, because we talked about plastic energy early in the speech. No one had any idea what it was early in the speech right course. And today, he just came out and gave a speech on plastic energy. I thought that was fantastic. On the, on the spot, no, he's just, he's just done it. Yeah? Okay, any final comments, guys? Speechcraft. Bloody awesome. Do it. I did one what, two years ago, yeah? Yeah, it was Smashing yeah, the Envelope, yeah. you've done it. Yeah, and you've come back yeah. and joined us. Oh, definitely, you're yeah. Mentor, yeah. Yeah, fell in love with it. Yeah. The next one. Uh, about June. Yeah, June, we've got it coming up in a couple of months. Okay, we'll finish up. Let's close it off. Thanks for filming. Been right. Let's go. Yep. Smack the envelope. Yeah. Woo. All right, well done, guys.